out there, everybody. It's your Jack Bob, and I'm back for another all new Hill Jack Bob's Top Ten. Uh, today I'm gonna do a really good one for you. Uh, we're gonna be off the uh, next uh, couple weeks because of this uh, moving the studio thing going on, and we're gonna be moving. So uh, I decided I want to put together a really, really good one for uh, everybody involved here. Uh, so you can. It'll tie everybody over while we're uh, not on the air for a couple weeks, but this one is going to be pretty funny. I uh, recently just went on a little uh, trip, and uh, well, I'll tell you, I was on a pretty bad airline, and I was able to put this uh, top 10 together uh, uh, real easily here for everybody. Oh, <clears throat> hold on a minute. Gotta take me uh, a quick sip of my uh, natural ice. Ooh, cool stuff. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh yeah, got oh. Yep. All right, here we go. Top ten signs you're flying a bad airline. Okay, here we go. Number ten. The engine is being held together by duct tape. <laughs> well, I tell you, uh, the airline I flew on, fortunately, the engines weren't being held together by duct tape. But I uh, know it, it could have been, but. Uh, I've, I've seen that kind of stuff happen before, and, uh, well, that's, that's a sign of a really bad airline. That's, that's number 10. Number 9. If you see the gorilla from the old Samsonite commercials running loose up and down the aisles. <laughs> I remember that gorilla. That's been many, many years ago, but I remember that gorilla in the Samsonite commercials. It was a lot of fun watching that, and, uh... Oh, I just killed a fly. Oh, ooh, ooh, protein. Oh, that. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm, good stuff. Mm. Gotta, gotta love a fly every now and then. Hey, get extra protein. Good for you. Mm. Mm. Well, okay. Well, down to number eight. The in-flight movie has Ernest in the title. Well, I'll tell you something. I'm not big of those Ernest movies. Uh, I know uh, that that's the late Jim Barney who used to play Ernest and... Uh, I enjoyed some of the Ernest movies, and uh, I think he actually got an idea for the voice, and uh, I think it was a Christmas movie, because uh, uh, he was looking for some pythons, and uh, and that's exactly how he put it, he was looking for some pythons, I think he heard my voice, uh, and uh, I think he got the idea for being that uh, rough kind of guy, the snake handler. I don't know if anyone's seen the Ernest Saves Christmas movie, but uh, yeah, uh, they got the idea for the voice from He'll check, Bob. Okay, well, uh, we're down to number seven already. Pilot informs you that you are cruising altitude and he's going to put the top down. Well, <laughs> that can be kind of a rough ride, yeah, going in an airplane out of the top down, but uh, at least you look cool. <laughs> All right, here we go. Down to number uh, nine, eight, seven. Hey, number six. Uh, down to number six. Uh, instead of peanuts, you get a healthy helping of spam. Well, I'm going to tell you something. Spam is one of my favorite, favorite meals. And uh, I'm not a big fan of the peanuts, but uh, if they got spam on the airline, I'm going to fly that airline because spam is one of my favorite meals. Mm. And in case you're tuning in right now, this is Hill Jack Bob and Hill Jack Bob Top 10. And, uh, oh, wait, I got a sip of Mr. Beer here. Oh, mm, mm, mm. Ah, refreshing. Mm. Gotta love that beer. Mm. Okay, now number five. As you're taking off, the steward mentions, or the stewardess, <laughs> I've seen some stewards too. The stewards or the stewarded, however you want to put it, mention the phrase, guest pilot program. Well, <laughs> I've seen some movies where the guest pilots had to take over and they never really uh, go real well. So, if I'm on that airline, I'm going to be jumping off that plane. <laughs> okay, down to number four. The seats are wet due to flotation device moisture. Hmm, well... Tell you what, that, that, it could be refreshing too. I don't know, but uh, ugh. the only wet seat I want is when I'm flushing the toilet after taking a shit, and to get the black splash of the water. Yeah, that kind of happens sometimes. <laughs> okay, down to number three already. The stewardess asked you join the Mile High Club. 
except he has a bigger beard and bigger arms than you do. Well, my uh, my third wife, uh, my third and fourth wives, they both had bigger arms than I do, and uh, my uh, my third my third wife, she had one hell of a beard. Uh, well, I'll tell you, whoa, that was a big bitch. Whew. People used to walk around and say, that's a huge bitch. And they, she was a huge bitch. But, uh, uh the reason we're divorced and we're not going to get into that. But, yeah. Anyway, uh, down to number two already. The pilot asked if there's anyone else who wants a shot of beam before he finishes the bottle. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Uh, I know a few pilots, and, uh, yeah, well, they never offered me no beam. They offered me some beers, though, and uh, they know I like the bush. And, uh, well, I like the bush in many other ways, too, but we're not going to talk about that one right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, hey, I reckon we're down to that number one of this countdown here. Top ten reasons are you flying on a bad airline. The number one reason you know you look down and see a copy of Fixing a Plane for Dummies by the Mechanic's Feet. Well, I'll tell you what, that was pretty good. I like that number one there. <laughs> well, as I said, we're going to be back in a couple weeks. We're going to be taking a couple weeks off, I'm told, because uh, the studio's moving. So, uh, we'll be back in a couple weeks, and we'll be back doing a weekly Hill Jack Bob's Top Ten. Well, for the show, again, this is Hill Jack Bob. And you've listened to Hugh Jack Bob's Top 10. Thank you very much for listening. We'll see you next time. Mm-hmm.